Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Supply, and this is The Leather Element. If you've got a good question for us, or a good idea for a leather element, drop it in the comment box below. Also, if you want to know when our videos release, just click your notifications. You'll know exactly when these come out. So when we're tooling and or stamping, is there actually a difference between a less expensive leather and a higher quality leather? There absolutely is. And in fact, the higher quality can make our work look better, even though we've seen no increase in our skill level. But let's put this to the test. We're going to step over to our pattern table, talk about what we're doing, then let's do a little tooling. I've got two pieces of leather cased, ready to tool, and a design ready to go. Now, to me, one of the most beautiful landscape elements is a brick wall with vine work. I love the contrast between the rust-colored bricks and the beautiful green of the leaves. So let's just transfer that over to a small tool pattern. Now, right here, I've got two pieces of leather. We're going with our Weaver Select, high quality, love the leather, but also we've got a piece cut from a single shoulder. Again, one of my favorite, less expensive pieces of leather. In fact, we use those in most videos. So let's tool this design on both pieces. Let's let it dry and see what happens. I'd like to get a little more of a close up here, but the tighter I get in, the less feel the focus I have. I'd hate to move over one inch and all of a sudden we're out of focus, can't see what we're doing, but I think this will work for us. Now on our leather, we've got our single shoulder and we've got our Weaver Select. We can already tell a difference, but right here on the flash side, that's where you can tell a big difference. Both are going to work well for us. Now, another reason we're going to go with this design. For the new folks, if we want to step into tooling, it's a relatively easy pattern. We only need four tools and a swivel, but also it's easy to make this look good. So let's tape this down. And one more trick or tip for the new folks. If we're not comfortable freehanding these lines and these need to be clean, let's jump over to a template. In fact, all kinds of templates will work for us here. Whether we use tools or not, doesn't matter. The outcome is what's important. So with our tracing film, let's trace in our design. We've got that. So let's see how this came out. Very nice. That takes a scribe very nicely. Okay. So let's jump over to our swivel knife. Now again, if we want to use our template, we absolutely can. But I'm going to do this freehand. We are cut. Okay, let's do a little cleanup on our corners. Okay, that looks good. We've got a good cut. And when I move my swivel through the Weaver Select, it just glides through. So next step, let's go over to a smooth bevel. I'm going to take this piece. We'll tool this. Then I'll do the same thing over here. But let's drop that back in our baggie because it's drying out. Now, when we case our leather, we can absolutely re-wet this. But I want to keep that to a minimum because every time we add more water, our impression backs out just a little bit. So let's go over to a small, smooth bevel, and I'm going to bevel all my edges. And one more pass. Okay, now let's take our tool and let's smooth out our tool marks. But let's be careful. Let's make sure we don't jump our line. Well, that looks good thus far. Now, if our work tends to move around on us, we can always use just a small weight bag, simple scrap suede sewn together with pennies or washers or whatever, just something to give us a little weight. Our beveling is done. Now, I'm trying to hold the tool high enough to where we can actually see what we're doing. There we go. Now, big point here. Perfect. No, I am not a top tier leather tooler. Big point. We don't have to be to enjoy it and to do some beautiful work. Next up, let's go over to a textured bevel. Now, right here, we're going to we're going to bevel on both sides of the stem or the vein. I'm not sure what that's actually called, but we're going to bevel on either side of that part of the leaf. Hey, 
And we've got that in, okay. Have you ever felt like your work always looks better from a distance? Yeah, I have to agree on that, okay. So over to a smooth pear shader. So we're just gonna add a little depth to our leaves. Let's just run this lightly, hand pressure, parallel to, our, to the edge of our leaf. And that'll give a little depth to our leaves. Now I'm starting to dry out a little bit. It would be a good time to re-wet this, but we're so close to the end. Let's go back to our swivel knife. Now I'm just going to drop in some veins on our leaf. Well, there we go. That looks pretty good. Perfect. Again, no, it's not, but we're looking good thus far. Last step. Let's go to a backgrounder. Now I'm going to fill in all the areas where we don't have leaves. Let's start right down here in our bottom corner. And I'm going to do my best to keep my hand out of the way. I'm concentrating more on my tooling than the, than the camera shot because this better look good on camera. Okay, well, there's one done. I'm going to do the balance. And let's even some of those out. Okay. Well, there we go. Looking pretty good. Now, let's go back to our smooth bevel. Because what I would like to do is the areas where I backgrounded Let's just hit the edges of those lightly, just in case we have any bad strikes. We've got that done. Okay, last step. Let's take a spoon, and I'm just going to smooth my edges. There we go. Okay. Absolutely perfect. No, it's not, but I'm happy with it. That's all that matters. Okay, we're going to let this piece dry. I'm going to do exactly the same thing to our single shoulder panel. And we've got our piece tooled. Not bad. That looks pretty good. Now, I don't want to give the impression that our single shoulders are not a great cut of leather. They are. For us crafters, it's a quality cut at an affordable price. But when we talk about tooling and stamping, it's a whole different situation. This felt a little bit mushy. That brings up all kinds of problems. Well, first off, tracing in for my tracing film, it was a little bit tough. My swivel knife did not move easily through that leather. So therefore, my edges are not as clean as I would like. When I dropped in my backgrounder, it almost felt like it was backing back out almost immediately. Well, I'm told it doesn't look bad. But let's look at this compared to the Weaver Select. Yeah, there we go. All the difference in the world. And like I said, my skills have not increased from one piece of leather to the next. But notice the difference in quality. Now, here's one more point. If you've tried a little bit of tooling and you've struggled with it, that might just be the problem. Bump up to a better piece of leather, and I think you'll see all the difference in the world in the outcome. Okay, one more step. We're going to let these dry fully. Then let's see what we've got. We've given our panels ample dry time overnight, in fact. Well, our single shoulder, it's a good impression. I'm a little bit surprised. But all told, I struggled with this. My swivel did not want to move through that leather easily. My backgrounder and my bevel, I just didn't feel like I was getting the impression I wanted. When we jump over to the Weaver Select, yeah, noticeable difference. The depth, the definition, but again, the big point here, my swivel moved smoothly. My bevels, my backgrounders, everything worked very easily. So therefore, my work actually does look better without any increase in my skill level. I wanted this video to show us the clear distinction between an inexpensive and a higher quality piece of leather. I feel like we accomplished that. But I also feel like somewhere in this video, I veered a little bit 
towards the folks that may have tried some tooling or some stamping and have become frustrated because they're just not getting the outcome they want. Well, if we jump up to a higher quality leather, we take what was frustrating and we turn it into a pleasure and our work is going to reflect that. I hope this is good information for you. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects.